good now. Got that six foot snorkel. Uh, Jabe Castle back. Sorry, I haven't been uploading much. Uh, the 850 has been down. Uh, I'll go further into that when I get it back. Uh, it is at the shop right now, and it was just over my head. Mechanically, I can do a lot of stuff, but on the Polaris, just a little over my head. If it was a Honda, it would have been tore down in the garage. So, yeah, uh, what today's video is going to be all about is the Rubicon. Give y'all a quick little walk around. Got us a little snorkel that we're doing on this one. Got the Haze Fab. Got the JB Fab. On fuels, on what What are these, 33s? Yep, 33 Aztecs. 33 Aztecs. 18 rims. Brand new. Still got the nips. But yeah, this is Brandon's new little build, new little Honda build, so... Uh, we're about to glue the snorkel. We'll bring y'all along for the ride as we do that. So, hope y'all enjoy this video. <laughs> that crap's on there tight. That ain't even the cement. I'm about to... All right, hold on. All right, guys. We're about to uh, seal the snorkel up up here. And then uh, we're going to get a different 90 because that looks kind of goofy. But... Um, yeah, bring y'all back here in a second once we get this lid off. <laughs> all right, all Jacob, what are we doing? Trying to get this ruby snorkel with a 420 Rancher air box. She's giving us first time for everything. <laughs> Give That's a in push. there. That's in there. We got a uh, completely disassemble uh, snorkel right here. You, can, you put a rubber boot in the middle and uh, then you got a rubber clamp right here. Um, and you got a clamp that's back here at the air box that you can take your snorkel out of. Then it comes to a 90 right here. So you can completely disassemble this snorkel. And as you can see, here's a little markings to put your snorkel together. It hasn't been easy. Nope. So, yeah. I have those fancy tools. Ain't no Dewalt. No little hockey. No hockeys. All them horse torques. Oh man, what is this all over? Blue stuff all over my freaking garage floor. It ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy buddy. crap. Talk about bringing some rags. <laughs> yeah, I got all the rags in the world. <laughs> Just to put this in reference. It ain't coming up, is it? No. Why was that breaking the wood? Spray a little bit on it. All right, guys. We got the uh, got it all plumbed up. Got everything lined up. Everything glued. But the last piece. So we finally got the snorkel done and on. I uh, just ran all the vent lines with black vent line tubing all the way down. We just replaced. The factory. And we're putting the plastics back on, make sure everything fits right. Pretty daggum straight for slanted plastics. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. Now we're about to go test it. There it is. Just gonna do a quick little walk around. Looking good now. Got that six foot snorkel. Yeah, turn them headlights on. Yeah, she a little dirty. There's the out of the Little smoke, little smoke. They don't want the smoke, do they?
a video from the side. You recording? Yeah. Am I recording? job seem to hold up over. Alright guys, I'm about to do the test out the bounty hole for Brandon. Get me wet! Easy on the throttle. on his maiden voyage, Alcatraz. It's gonna get deep about like right here. It don't look deep. 
They don't look deep on mine because I'm floating all the time. Yes, sir. Walking that bounty hole. I think you made it. Hey, you're dragging a stick. I think you made it quicker than I did. But then again, I was testing how deep it was. Uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please. I'll hit that again. That was fun. Now you know how Cody feels. Look. <laughs> Looking at. You got a little bit, then. What is it? Yeah, but I that's probably coming from that freaking drain. That's got to be coming from that. dips right where Brandon is. Alright guys, here we go. Bounty hole at my house. 